Welcome again to Mainline Healthy Living, our program about introducing you to experts on the mainline who are all about health, healthy lifestyle, healthy living. Today, we're continuing our round robin of introducing you to our guest experts. We have Kim Berrien, who is a massage therapist and a doula. And if you don't know what a doula is, you're gonna find out in just a minute. So Kim, welcome to Mainline Healthy Living. Thanks so much, Mark. I'm so excited to be so here. So what is a doula? Okay. <laughs> Let's start there. Uh, it's a question I get more than you would think. Um, a doula is a professional person who comes into the home and supports a family that is about to have a baby. Okay. And so there's two aspects to that. There's there's a birth doula, mm -hmm. which is someone who comes in and assists in the prenatal period and then through the labor and delivery in the immediate postpartum period, first hour or two. Um, and then there's a postpartum doula mm -hmm. who comes in after the birth of the baby. And that can be, I have seen people in the hospital and supported them. I've seen people when they come home from the hospital and supported them. And I've been called in sometimes when a baby is six weeks old and I've supported them. Okay. So. Excellent. And now what's the, the crossroads between massage and doula and how did, how did that come to be in your professional career? It's a question I also get asked a lot. <laughs> um, and I, sometimes they can seem like very different things, but they actually overlap a lot. Um, uh, when I went to massage therapy school in 2000, I knew going into it that uh, my focus with massage was going to be about assisting and helping women during their childbearing year. Okay. And the birth of or the impending birth of a baby it brings a lot of physical and emotional changes to a family mm -hmm. and actually massage is great for helping the mom through those changes right because your body's changing a lot you're under a lot of stress uh, there's a lot of anxiety exactly about, you know. physical stress emotional stress even excitement sure creates some stress in the body so it massage is just a great way to help women who are pregnant get in touch physically, mm -hmm. literally with this new and changing body and to help make it a much more comfortable experience for them. So you said you went to massage school in 2000, I in think 2000. you said? In 2000. And so what was your, what got you interested in the first place? I mean, how did you decide on, uh, you know, working physically with people and uh, massage and health and all that good stuff? It was really interesting. So I went to school, went to college and graduated and for lack of a better term, just felt a little lost. Knew it just didn't fit with what I, I wanted to do and I, what, with what I went to college for. And so I was trying out different careers and things and happened upon a class at the community college where I was living at the time that was introduction to massage. And mm. I thought, well, this is really interesting. I'd always had an interest in what we now today consider alternative health, herbs, homeopathy, chiropractic, things like that. And I thought, oh, this is, I'm just interested in learning more about this. Right. It was like three hours every Saturday for like 12 weeks, non-credit class. And after my first class, I knew what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. It just really resonated I with you. <laughs> felt like a square peg in a square hole for the first time in my life. Something clicked. Yeah. And I, I, I've never looked back since. And honestly, I'll never do anything other than what I'm doing right now. I love it that much. Excellent. Now, where is your practice at this point? Uh, I have two offices. Mm -hmm. I have an office in Bella Kenwood, okay. and I just opened my new office in Media, oh, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. I'm really excited about both of those offices. Okay. So Bala and Media. Mm -hmm. um, and what kinds of people do, obviously you're working with uh, you know, people who are, are giving birth, but um, uh, give us a sense of who is kind of your ideal client. Who do you enjoy working with the most? Uh, you know, who who benefits the most from the kind of work that you do. Sure. Um, so I work with anyone who is experiencing any kind of musculoskeletal complaints. So mm -hmm. I don't just work with women. I work with men. Mm -hmm. um, and women, women who don't have children, women whose children are older. So anyone who's, number one, really just experiencing any kind of chronic musculoskeletal complaints, that tends to be the lion's share of my practice. Mm -hmm. um, I also have a specialty, um, which is now considered to be uh, medical massage, okay. which has trained me to work with people who have more complicated medical conditions. So I can work with people who have autoimmune disorders. Okay. I can work with clients who have orthopedic injuries. I work with clients who have uh, low back uh, disc injuries or neck disc injuries. Okay. 
Um, and of course, women's health is a, is a specialty of mine. So I work with a lot of women who have chronic pelvic and abdominal pain. Okay, excellent. So it's a broad range, but so you've got you know broad uh, you know ability to work with people, but then some specialty areas that uh, that you really have have you know kind of gotten deeper into. Exactly. If people have those specific problems. Exactly. So you know. I, I used to get massages every other week, actually, for a, a nice long stretch. I mean, I, I highly recommend them for, for just sort of well-being. Uh, but obviously, when you've got an injury, a sports injury, a car accident, things like where your body's been kind of shaken up, um, that's a great time to, uh, to have somebody who has that medical expertise to kind of help, you know, make sure things are clicking back into place the right way. Absolutely. And obviously, earlier the better. Mm -hmm. So if you can come in after you've had an injury or an accident and you can get a couple of treatments in quick succession, um, you're, you're going to get that long-term benefit and need fewer treatments later. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit, um, you know, as we sort of wrap up our introduction to you, Kim, uh, about some of the things we're going to talk about in the future, because, you know, you're going to be one of our regular featured uh, experts who's coming back month after month. What kind of stuff uh, can we talk to people about and, and help them learn what they or may already know, but want to know more about about massage or, sure. or the doula side of things? and things that they might discover that they never knew. Okay, so one of the things that I'm quite passionate about is helping people who have chronic unresolved pain, mm -hmm. um, whether that be from something more musculoskeletal or something more physiological like an autoimmune disorder, because I feel like a lot of people walk around in pain and they're right. given the message that this is just the way it is and this is kind of the way it's going to be. And for me, I feel like there's always another option. and. I want to talk in these future sessions about some of the causes that you may not have realized can be contributing to your pain and also some of the treatment options that you may have. Even if you know exactly where the pain is coming from, mm -hmm. the, there are other treatment options available to you that might address even 50% of that pain that you're living in. I think that's such an important topic because, you know, people, if you don't fall into an easily medically diagnosable kind of, you know, here it is on an x-ray or an MRI, people kind of go, you know, from appointment to appointment feeling really frustrated, feeling like, you know, they're kind of getting the vibe that, hey, this is all in my head. I mean, I'm a psychologist. They often get referred to me because, you know, so someone's almost kind of in an accusing way saying, hey, you know, you, you just got to deal with this. So mm -hmm. it's great to have a resource where someone mm -hmm. can explain some of these things. I know that we'll, we'll talk about the way things in your body can kind of uh, b create mysterious symptoms, sometimes not even where the injury is, right? It can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and, you know. and for seven years, my practice focused around chronic pain. That's mm -hmm. where I got the experience with the orthopedic injury and the low back pain, the, the disc injury uh, clients. And you're right, if you don't fall into that nice neat category where you're either a candidate for surgery or medication, sometimes the doctors don't know what to do with you. Right. But then it's, then it's time to look for another treatment option. And there's a lot of options for people out there. Well, that's great. So by, by the time we're done having these conversations, people will know uh, what uh, their options are and they'll have some great resources to turn to. And uh, hopefully they can keep tuning into mainline healthy living to, to get those things. So we'll talk about pain. We'll talk about some of these uh, things. Any other topics you can think of off the top of your head uh, as we kind of bring this to a close? Oh, absolutely. And so <laughs> it's my other passion, which is working with women during the childbearing year. And mm -hmm. I really want to expand upon just how integral a part massage can be not only in preparing for birth, but also in the very immediate postpartum period. Mm -hmm. um, there are many ancient cultural traditions that surround specific protocols for massage beginning almost immediately after birth to help the newly postpartum woman recover yeah. and, and her long-term recovery as well because pregnancy and birth takes a large toll on a woman's body Absolutely. and getting in there and being able to address that earlier rather than later it's, I'd really like to bring awareness well, to that. And it makes so much sense, right? Because your body's been changing for nine months and then suddenly, suddenly there's this different. massive change yeah. that, you know, literally overnight, right? Yeah. I mean, and so uh, yeah. it, it's, it's got to be a shock to the body. It, it is a real <laughs> shock. And sometimes labors are really hard. Some right. women have harder labors and it puts a more physical toll on their body. And so I, I really just want to bring awareness to the fact that you know, there are things that you can do to help your body recover afterwards and feel better longer after you give birth to a baby. 
Excellent. Well, I'm already looking forward to our future conversations. I can't wait. I'm so Hopefully excited. Hopefully you're looking forward to future conversations with Kim as well. So Kim, thanks for, uh, you know, at least launching off our, our introduction to you and your expertise here on Mainline Healthy Living. And we'll be back with more great stuff with thanks, you. Thanks, Mark.